Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Harper. Good morning. That's right. I'll get it. You guys have your baby dolls joining you for uh, breakfast? Yeah. Everybody perky and awake for today? Peyton, you ready for school? Yep. Morning guys, so the girls and I just got paint in school and then we went to Target and we picked up some of these cute little hair clips from that Cat and Jack brand. I love that brand. And Harper's hair is like always down. She loves to wear it down. So I was like, let's get some little hair clips. So let me see. Let me see that little hair clip. So it's perfect and it's actually like snug because sometimes hair clips are like, um, they're kind of like, they don't clip into the hair and like stay, they like move all over. So these ones, they have like a nice grip clip, I guess is what you call it, but Presley has the other turquoise and that's why it's missing. But so the girls picked these out. They're super excited to go school shopping and pick out some cute little outfits and um, Peyton will get a backpack even though she doesn't really need a new one, but it's kind of like, you know, like the fun school thing. You pick out a new backpack. So she'll have like two that she can alternate through um, throughout the year. But Presley gets a bag from her teacher, which is really cool. They like write their name on it. So on the first day of school, I think when we go to meet the teacher, she'll get her little bag, but she will be able to bring her lunch. So she can pick out a lunch box. So she's pretty excited to do that. First time school shopping for her and she gets to come with Peyton and I. So they're really looking forward to that. They talk about it every day. Keith and Peyton were able to have some alone time and they were outside and they skateboarded. And it's just really nice that they get to have like some alone time because during the week he works and she goes to school. So they don't really get like a lot of like quality time. Like by the time Keith gets home from work, Peyton has to like do her homework, we eat dinner, we do bath, we read books, and do like some family activities sometimes or watch a movie and stuff like that. So yesterday we just had some quality family time. Like I said, the girls and I took like a two hour nap and so Keith and Peyton were like skateboarding outside and they took some really fun and cute clips. So we'll insert that right now so you guys can see that. You ready to kill it on the skateboard? Yeah. You ready to get it? Yeah. You gonna go fast? I'm nervous. Why are you nervous? I don't know. You're just a little nervous? Yeah. That's right. I haven't rode it in a while. It's gonna be fun. You're gonna do awesome. She's got all of her pads on. She's ready to rock. High five. I know how to turn. It's hard though. You're good at turning. Last time we rode, you were really good at it, but it's been a few weeks, so. All right, let's go skate. Hey, you could be larger than Her hair is blowing in the wind. She's flying. Hey, babe. Good job. All right, so we have gotten a few questions on what we're gonna pack for the birthing center. And as far as the birthing center, they actually provide everything that you need for the baby after you have her. And for me, they have like robes and they have like a lot of postpartum stuff while you're there. Cause at the birthing center, you have the baby, like you labor for however long you labored. But with my previous experience, I was um, in labor for nine and a half hours for Presley and Peyton. And then with Harper, I was only in labor for four and a half hours and we had them in Florida. So this is like a different birthing center experience. We won't be at the birthing center that long. So I don't really have to pack a lot of stuff, but I did pack our diaper bag for Hannah, just like, 
some outfits that I want her to wear. So we actually got this Skip Hop diaper bag, which I got from Bye Bye Baby, and I really love it. It's a neutral color, so Keith can use it. And I really liked how large it was. I don't really need like a huge bag, but I wanted a bag that I could use for all four of the girls, like snacks or their cups, you know, just very versatile. So it has like this strap, so you can put it on your arm. And then it also has the messenger bag. And then we do have a stroller. We don't always take it everywhere, but with the baby we might. But it has these two straps that you can hook right onto the stroller. So I thought that that was a cool feature. It's so crazy that like from Harper will be four in September, but it's so crazy to see how far diaper bags have come since then. Cause with her, I don't even think I had a diaper bag. I think I just carried like a large tote bag, but this time, I don't know, I kind of wanted a diaper bag. So we got this one, and what I really liked about it was this little pocket down here. I know it sounds silly, but it's like a mini lunchbox. And I just thought this was so cool. It's insulated, and it comes with like a freezer pack. And then it comes with these three little snack bags, or bins, which I thought were so cool for the older girls because we take snacks everywhere we go and they unclip from each other so I thought that was just super super cool so it has this pocket in the back with the changing pad so you can change the baby anywhere like in the back of our van or literally anywhere so this pocket is fairly large and I have this bag from Target and I've gotten like a ton of samples throughout this pregnancy so I'd just be pregnancy so I've just been putting them in here and I don't know ever since I've had braces I like <laughs> take um, floss everywhere <laughs> and yeah got some laundry soap you never know when you're gonna need that some toothpaste some breast pads, pacifier wipe, just a bunch of random samples. And then on the side, it has like two zipper pockets, put like a drink cup, and then the other side has the same thing. And then in the front pocket, probably just put our phones here or whatever. It's nice, it has like a zipper. This is the Nutrisutton All Natural Pacifier. I didn't know which one she would like or even if she would like them, but I just thought we would just get a few different kinds. And then I got this off Amazon. It's a pacifier clip. The girls, they wanted to pick out something for Hannah, so they picked out this cute little uh, Wubba Nub thing with the Avent or the Sudi, the ones that you get from the hospital, these pacifiers. And then there's two other kinds of pacifiers. Like I said, I don't even know if she's gonna like them or whatever, but we, the, and Presley loved the little bear. So got these. And then in the zipper part, that's the main one. And then this is kind of like a pocket in front of the main one, which it's so nice having like all these different pockets. It's fairly like large. There's like a ton of space in here, like ton pocket here two pockets here another pocket here there's just like so many pockets it's crazy so what I packed for her for the birthing center I packed my wrap which I don't even know if I'll wear it but this is a lightweight wrap so I'll probably just always keep it in the bag or like around the house I'll probably wear her a lot too so it's that solely baby wrap which I love this brand um, it's from a mom you know so it's the solely baby wrap. And then we got these little mittens for her in case she has long nails or scratches her face. I don't know. So many new baby things since Harper was a baby. So I just was kind of like, I wanted to be like really minimalistic this time, which I think I've achieved. I haven't bought like too many clothes or too much this time. So got these little mini socks for her. And 
some bows, of course. And I just kind of got like a lot of neutral stuff this time because I don't know, like having like three girls and then having a fourth, like I didn't want so much pink this time, but I have a special hat for her to wear after she's born, which I'm sure you guys will see picture or video on it. So packed a little onesie. I love the floral bright print and then just a regular neutral organic cotton Burt's Bee onesie, which actually it might be a little bit too big, but it's so cute. And it is gonna be midsummer, so I just packed like a bunch of onesies. This little cute bird one. I didn't know if I wanted her to come home in a onesie or a sleeper, so I packed this cute little sleeper too, which Keith loves this mint color. And then it has like the little sleeve that rolls over, so it's like a built-in little mitten. So I thought that was pretty cool. I don't know if she's gonna be hot or cold, so just have this. And then I put a burp cloth, which I'll just leave in the diaper bag. And then I packed one swaddle blanket. I love this one and it's from the little unicorn, but it has that poppy flowers, which I love this, like this print. It came with two other ones, but I wanted it specifically for this print. So the muslin cotton swaddle blankets, those are my favorite. Then we got some wipes. Always can use wipes in the diaper bag. Seventh generation. And then we do plan on cloth diapering, but for the first few weeks, we're just gonna use regular diapers. And we got these organic little Earth's Best. Look how tiny these are. They're like so small. And then I just packed like a bunch of those. And like I said, probably won't keep everything how it is in here, but I just overpacked a little bit <laughs> and then as far as my stuff goes i just pa i just have like a nursing bra so far i need to get like an outfit to wear home so i'm comfortable and this lacrosse um massage ball i wanted to make sure i bring this so that i had back labor with two of the girls harper and peyton so on your lower back you can massage this massage this and Keith or the midwife can do that and it like relieves pressure. And these are good for like if you work out too. Just like at the Played Against Sports, I think we got this. But they have like different colors and whatever. So definitely this lacrosse ball. And that is pretty much it. That's all my stuff in the diaper bag. And then we also have like all these cloth diapers that I said that we're gonna use. And this is probably one of my favorite things. I didn't have it with the girls, but it's a nursing cover and you can also use it in the shopping cart. And then it's that Milk Snob brand. I think they have an Instagram, you can check it out. And it's just really lightweight, but I love how it covers cause it gets windy here in the fall and it covers the car seat. And then you can like look down in there and see her. But a lot of people, I don't know, like they like are like, oh, the baby's so cute, and they try to like touch her. So I'm not like a germaphobe or anything, but I definitely want to keep, you know, like her as not sick as possible. <laughs> and this also is so lightweight. I just love that for nursing in the summer, or like if we have family over, you know, like you just like throw it over um, your neck. You actually put your head through the hole, but I can't do it with one hand. And I just love how it's like really lightweight. You could literally just like wad it up in a ball and throw it in the diaper bag or throw it in the car or purse or anything. And then we have her car seat, which I'm not sure how long this will be able to be in there, but her car seat was kind of a little bit hard. So I got this for like the first few weeks at least. I hope she'll fit with the padding in there, but all we have to do is pretty much install the car seat, which I'll be 34 weeks on Thursday. So I just told Keith probably in the next like three weeks we can install the car seat. And yeah, that is pretty much it for what's in our diaper bag or birthing center bag. Like I said, they provide a lot of this stuff, which is really nice and we won't be there that long. So we don't need like this huge bag for two or three nights at the hospital stay. So yeah, just really looking forward to having her. I'm feeling 
you can probably tell I'm like out of breath because I feel so full like my stomach is so hard it like keeps contracting like the Braxton Hicks contractions which they're not they're like getting you like ready for labor but they're not painful they're just like your uterus contracting so yeah if I'm out of breath I'm sorry but I'm so super pregnant that sometimes I can't breathe but I hope you guys like all of our stuff if you have any questions or any suggestions of what I can pack in the diaper bag, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to answer and get back to you guys. How you doing today, Press? Good. Hi. Good? <gasps> Did you find your baby's body? No. No? <laughs> Hi. Harper has these little baby toys. But it's missing its body. It's so sad, Harper. <laughs> it's missing its body. Oh no. Is the body under the couch? Let's see. I don't see it. <laughs> Do you see it? No. Upside down. <laughs> You're so silly. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, Are you learning yeah. about farm animals too, or no. you just made I, a book? I, um, wrote, farm animals are amazing. Pigs are pink, and adult pigs are fluffy. It is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's a cool book. I like it. And I did What's this that? art class, and it was really fun. Hard to do, but I love art. I love that. And that's um, a turkey, hand turkey. I mean, a peacock. I was gonna say it looks like a peacock. That is so cool. And some a people on a person on a swing and two people on. Swing. I probably gonna make those twins. <laughs> that's a great picture. I love it. On the other side, I did a farm. Ooh. And at first I did a barn, then I drew like little windows, and that's a piglet. Aww, that's so cute. <laughs> What's piglet. all this crazy rainbow stuff? Um, it's a sunset. Oh, and I love it. <gasps> Beautiful. And turkey pig with mud on it. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that brown stuff is. That's, that's funny. That's the like... It's bird. It's food. Bird butterflies. Those are beautiful and paintings. There's a horse right there. It looks like a bear though. That's okay. Yeah. That's a good horse. <laughs> Did you have a good day? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy's being silly. Daddy <laughs> just got home a little bit ago. I'm making my end of vlog appearance to help end the vlog. Because mommy is exhausted. She had a long day too. So mm -hmm. do you want to uh, help me end the vlog? Yes. What do you want to say? Um, if you guys like today's video, give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and give a comment below. See ya! Brand new day, the sun is up, the birds and the bees are singing shouts.